Our first stop on the mural tour was attending the Baltimore Museum of Art at the Joan Mitchell level. Her paintings were unique, abstract and used with oil for her paintings, drawings, and prints. She's a 1950s artist. Here we have arrived at 805 East Baltimore Street, known as the cop shop on the outside, but the gallery about nothing on the inside. Cool owner, very welcoming. As you walk up the steps, there's posters leading to the first floor, open space once you reach inside, sip and paints is with the host, curves of women, cartoons, black art, pop out art, This gallery was also featured in the Baltimore Sun paper titled Things Lost in the Pandemic. It talked briefly about how they were willing and ready to get back to work. And I'm so happy that we were able to attend. As we hit upstairs, more posters leading. Another room of open space. This is the mini hip hop museum. Now we head over to North Avenue. Here on North Avenue, a African-American artist by the name of Tom Miller created a conversation between his two murals. Here you see an African proverb reading, however far stream flows, never forget its source. And he wanted to do this so that way all African-American men can see its integrity in reading. Here to the right side of me is done by the same artist african-american artist tom miller where he created that same image of a black man in a community family orientated expressed with the youth colors that have been created since the 1990s but still hold that value This is nice. Let's see how we get. The energy is strong there. Color really pulls you in. Done by Ernest Shaw and Michelle Santos. In dedication to community activists, Pinatola Mason and other strong, voicely politicians and musicians literature and sportsmen. Turns out that this wall used to have a painting on it by the name of the Wall of Pride. You will see a picture soon. And in this picture, it was done 30 years ago. And 10 years later, Ernest Shaw sat down with community meetings and panels and backed and funded Stronger, a revival to bring something brighter and better to the community. Next, we headed to the busy streets of Pennsylvania Avenue with a lovely Billie Holiday and the to the top left hand side that's Roland Dorsey and together this jazz mural is Sankofa done by Ernest Shaw. Mill in Pressbury. Freddie Gray faced police brutality back in 2015 where he was murdered, which triggered a riot that took place dominating every district from east, west, south, and north. For the first time in my era, I finally saw the alignment of people upset but also trying to find peace injustice which was also a resemblance of Dr. Martin Luther King's assassination